August 29th, 2022. As of recording, 11.55 a.m. Central Standard Time. This marks exactly one year since Hurricane Item made landfall here in southeast Louisiana, causing $9 billion worth of damage traveling upon northward to the northeast, causing even more damage and destruction, spawning an EF-320 in New Jersey, causing, you know, a bunch of damage and destruction, widespread flooding in New York, Pittsburgh, the whole nine yards. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys a little documentary about Hurricane Item, which was one of the most destructive storms to ever strike the United States since whenever, I guess since War of 2020. And yeah, where were you during Hurricane Item? Anyways, let's begin. On August 23rd, 2021, the National Hurricane Center would designate somewhere in the Caribbean Sea for a tropical disturbance that is associated with the low pressure system. August 26, 2021, Ida was born. Right at that time on Friday, well, soon to be Hurricane Ida made landfall in Cuba and would soon enter the Gulf of Mexico and will soon strengthen into a major hurricane. On August 27th and 28th, Hurricane Ida would be churning in the Gulf of Mexico, aiming directly for southeast Louisiana as a Category 4 hurricane. August 29th, 2021, around 11.55 a.m., Ida has officially made landfall in Port Fouchon, Louisiana. And from there, Hurricane Ida would wreak havoc to every part of Louisiana. Ida had hurricane strength from when it made landfall in Louisiana all the way to Mississippi, which I've never seen that before. This was my exact location when Hurricane Ida was approaching me, and here is some footage of that. Goodness, here comes the... Oh my gosh, here comes another animal! Oh my goodness! Oh my... Some place of impact. We're approaching the northern high wall. Oh, hurricane. After it went through Louisiana, it went through Mississippi. It didn't really do that much because wind shear was affecting the storm really badly. But then as it started to march itself more northward, that's when it started to gain more strength over land, which it wasn't a, you know, going to rebound into a tropical storm and stuff. It's just like the they call it remnants of a storm. What that basically means is that like, once it's done over water, it's just a very lopsided mess. As it approached, you know, West Virginia, New York, New Jersey, this is when things got completely out of hand. This is when tornadoes were spawning left and right, and this is where flooding was devastating. You. The cars are floating! That car started floating! Yo! After Hurricane Ida passed, most of Louisiana, or southeast Louisiana, over 1 million people were without power for two weeks and three weeks at most. One of the few hard-hit areas has to be Laplace, Louisiana. It is just completely devastated with all the damage and the flooding. It's just so unreal. Here is a picture of Laplace, Louisiana being underwater. Here's a picture of a tornado taken somewhere in New Jersey while the remnants of Hurricane Ida was present. 
And here's a radar loop of the tornado warnings. To this day, you can still see the scars of Hurricane Item, especially around here. Allow me to give you a tour of what it did one year later. Here we have a tree that appears to be uprooted still. Just to show the amount of debris, like tree branch wise, got some logs that are still here. Got some, this weird tree that fell down. And behind all of these trees, a big pine tree, which you guys can probably see over there, just completely snapped like this. Just snapped in half. It's crazy. You can see that there are some more uprooted trees right here. And right here, this used to be one big oak tree. That's about, about as high as that oak tree right there. And I remember whenever I first came back after the hurricane, I mean, it just didn't look recognizable at all. And I've never experienced a major hurricane 100 miles inland. I've never had that experience in my life. This has been the Hurricane Item documentary. Well, a small documentary. Where were you during Hurricane Item? Did it affect you? If so, let me know in the comments. See you guys later.